Good morning. I wanted to discuss a little bit about workers' compensation insurance and how premium is driven. So you need to think about it from this perspective. If you're an employer employing employees, you are essentially putting them in harm's way. So the state requires that you have a workers' compensation policy in force so that in the event one of your employees who gets hurt while on the job, while in harm's way, which you were the cause of, you put them in harm's way to some degree, that you have a policy in place to take care of their medical bills. Now, in terms of pricing, what happens is, is that if you think about the exposure basis, we need to understand the, the state has broken down basically every single work classification and has given it a class code. So if you can think about this from a macro perspective, office work, clerical work, which is one of the cheapest rates out there, is roughly 25 cents per $100 of payroll. So if you extrapolate what that means, if you have $100,000 of clerical payroll, you are looking at a workers' comp premium of approximately $250 a year plus taxes and fees. Conversely, on the other end of the spectrum, if you had a roofing company, you might be paying $25 per $100 of payroll. So based on the severity or the riskiness of the job being performed, um, that will impact how costly the rate per $100 of payroll will be. Now, what will happen is, is that if this is your first time getting workers' compensation insurance, you're going to project what your anticipated payroll is by class code for the upcoming year. The policy will be issued and you'll be billed based off of those guesstimates. Then, either quarterly or sometimes even monthly, but most often at the, at the end of your policy period, so on an annual basis, you will be audited. And essentially all that is is that it's not an IRS audit, you're just chewing up as to what your actual payroll would be. So let's go back to our example. Somebody had $100,000 of anticipated clerical payroll at the beginning of the year. Fast forward towards the to the end of the year upon audit, and it turns out he had two hundred thousand dollars in payroll. Business was bigger than um, he anticipated, and he hired more more people. Then he would get a bill for double what he anticipated paying. Conversely, if he um, if he had less payroll than he had anticipated, he would get a credit. That's the basics as to what drives uh, workers' compensation insurance. We'll explain experience modifications in a separate video.